haven't been out here since the this runway opened I don't know if we even I, I know there's spots around here that you're allowed to film but it's a fairly strict process you've got to submit paperwork to the aviation authority and you've got to submit paperwork to them get approved <laughs> But yeah, the reason it's a good idea now here is because previously this runway was closed all along here. They're doing construction work on the runway itself, re rebuilding, resealing the runway. But now that's been complete, so the planes are using this. We just saw one take off before, it would have been a perfect view of it front on. Oh, look at this. I also get to film all the sheep coming in. Sheep and a few cows and little doggy. Coming into graze and... Yeah, a little cute little doggy here coming up. He's looking after his sheep. A few cows uh, mowing the grass for the airport, free of charge. So just saying earlier, it's a bit, it's a bit weird too because there's like uh, the airport's almost back to full capacity now, about 150 flights a day. I think it was 180 a week or so ago when I had a look one day. But you just don't see that many coming in, taking off and landing for that volume of traffic. It should be like 10 an hour. Uh, you know. Um, anyway, hopefully there's one shortly in the next um, couple of minutes. So yeah, there was a lot of construction out here. Uh, we've been here several times, it's closed now because all that work's finished. So we're just trying to see if we can see a couple of planes taking off, but look, some big cows here. Mate, he's cutting the grass for free for the airport. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the cows, he's having a good time, he's eating. Ah, they're loving that grass. One of them staring at us. He doesn't like us, that one in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's, yeah, he's got big horns, that guy. And, uh, he's on guard, he's watching over everyone. But yeah, all the sheep just grazing. Yeah, sheep, goats, cows. Mate, that guy's just look at him. He's fixed on the yellow, mate. He doesn't like. He doesn't like the colour yellow. <laughs> Maybe he thinks it's sunflower. <laughs> 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 yeah, underground. See, mate, this guy's getting closer, guys. See, he's still looking at us directly. It's like he's protecting the other ones that are eating. And his feet are like, uh, he's got those small steps like, hmm, <laughs> testing the ground. Look at all the sheep, guys. See, he's still staring at us. <laughs> he's, getting, he's getting closer. Guys, that one's got big horns, man, and he's staring like... Salud! I think it's better to move around the other side of the car slowly. Yeah, these guys are all pretty relaxed, but this guy here... This guy here, hmm, he's got a strange look. I think I was. Salud. Fuerte mare. One plane, you're paying? Hmm, small lawnmower plane. Oh well, mate, we come to an airport to film the planes and we get cows and sheep and uh, goats, mate. 
<laughs> Tell you what, I did like the look of that one cow, man. It was good. No, you know, so <clears throat> we just can't find any planes at the moment at the international airport. Come on, what's going on? <laughs> Lunch time. <laughs> There's none coming into land. Not a single plane coming into land in 15 minutes. Nothing taking off. Yet yeah, we're supposed to have 150 odd flights a day. Bit of a false alarm, but we got that one. So I'll sign off again until we, hopefully another five or 10 minutes and we should be getting a plane taxiing out here at least. We'll be able to watch something take off.